What's up, YouTube? Tenchi Arizona, the angry Dracolope of the Jackalope crew here. And today's video ties into the video I recorded on Saturday. That video was titled Leatherwork and Snafu. If you want to find out what happened, go and check that video out. But this video is called Leatherworking on a Budget. And first thing I need to mention, despite the fact I am in the UK, I'm going to be using American prices. And that is because the majority of my subscribers and viewers are based in the good old United States of America. That big flag behind me, that's where they're based. <laughs> or the country that flies that flag more specifically. Anyway, on to the topic at hand, which is leather working on a budget. Now, I didn't get all these tools at the same time, though two of the things I did get at the same time. So the first thing is in this little box here. And it is just a basic leather working kit. And it is the only one I found that included a stitching groover. So that is the one I went for. And it didn't have any stitching punches, unfortunately. So I also bought, at the same time as I bought the kit, a set of four, there's two of them, a set of four stitching punches. So all told, stitching punches and this little starter kit came up to around $20. I'd say $20 flat actually because that's exactly what it came up to. $20. So that's a little leather working starter kit. And the reason I've put the stitching punches back in the box is because that's where they live when I'm not using them. I just had them out for the sake of this video. Now, so far, base cost $20. I also got a pack of six craft knives. I've only represented two sizes here. There is a size in the middle because this came as a six pack. It came with two of the smallest ones, which are the yellow, two which are between the yellow and the orange, which were blue, and two of the orange ones, which are actually the largest in the set. And that set cost me as little, if you can believe this, as a dollar. It cost me exactly a dollar. So that was a good investment. And they are suitable for cutting leather. Now, on to the next piece. And these were $1.50 a piece. So... So far with the craft knives and the base leather working kit, we're at $21, $22.50, add another $150, so that should be $24, $25.50 for the clamps. Oh, and the leather in the clamps is the remainders of my snafu. I decided to try and salvage some leather. Now, these clamps were not originally bought for leather working. They were bought for working on knife handles. But now I've added the scraps of leather to the jaws. They will work for leather working too. So, what did I say there? $25.50? Am I correct on that? $20 for the initial leather working kit. A dollar for craft knives and a dollar of 50 a piece on the clamps. Well, that's the stuff I already had to hand. I added a few other things today though, because previously I was using a carpenter's pencil, which I'd had for years, for marking my leather, but the scraps of leather I've got are black, so this really didn't work. But I'll get to the marking method I bought in a minute first is this which is a 300 millimeter or 12 inch ruler metal ruler relatively thick came from diy of a heart diy section of one of my local stores or should i say the hardware section of one of my local stores and this cost two dollars fifty so 25.50 
plus 250 that's $28 if I am not mistaken if my math is wrong correct me in the comments down below I really don't care because I'd rather be corrected and put out incorrect information now on to the marking method and as I said I was using a carpenter's pencil which on black leather was probably the stupidest thing to use because you really cannot see the marks well I went out on Saturday when I got this ruler and I went to my local haberdashery shop and asked them if they had any tailor's chalk or any fabric pens they usually stock them they were out of stock so I had to rethink so I went back to the store where I got the ruler yes I made a second trip to the same store and I went to their stationery section to see if they had any colored pencils or crayons in white or boxes of crayons and boxes of pencils in white they didn't and then I got the craziest most stupid idea I've ever had I went to the makeup section and no I wasn't buying makeup for me well not directly anyway but I did buy a few things first off and this is going to be for knife projects in the future I bought some clear nail polish one dollar and yes I know it isn't related to leather working but I'm including it anyway because it was so cheap a dollar anyway back to the leather working stuff which I believe was at 28 50 20 something around there anyway what I got for marking my leather was these some white eyeliner pencils and I know what you're thinking eyeliner pencils how's that gonna mark leather well it's gonna work in the same sort of way that a fabric pen does and this will show up on the black leather quite well oh and by the way these were a dollar each and I've got two of them here we go two so later on today I am probably going to be starting to make the pocket sheaf for my tops Tybo again now you've seen the tools I have for my leather working and they cost under $50 by a significant margin if my math is right it is $30.50 for everything I've showed here and that will start you off obviously you're going to need some scraps of leather as well eBay is very good if you just want scraps to practice on in fact I found two 12 inch squares of veg tanned leather for around five dollars a piece so including leather you can get started in leather working for around forty dollars anyway that's all for the main topic of this video now if you've been watching me for any amount of time you will know that I have my own channel, sti channel stickers these little beauties are 70 millimeter diameter printed on vinyl which means they will be perfectly fine outside in wet environments all dry you can put them on tackle boxes gun cases uh, fishing rod tubes I didn't think of that before but yeah they could go on there toolboxes pretty much anything these will go well on and as I said they will be able to be used outdoors as well as indoors so if you would like to support my channel by getting yourself some of these stickers I have around 140 of these left at the moment they are $1.50 each and if you would like to get yourself some you'll find a paypal.me link in the description of this video as well as in my channel banner on YouTube now if you don't want to get yourself any stickers that is fu completely fine but if you would like to see content that you may not see on my YouTube channel you can also find me on Instagram at the angry dracolope again the link is in the description of this video and in my channel banner on YouTube 
I do post there quite often, although sometimes I do forget to post for a couple of days. Anyway, that's all for now. If you like it, like it, please subscribe, comment and share. And remember, be good to each other. Thank <laughs> you.